What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS and let me start off by saying wow what an amazing amazing war a legendary war this turned out to be Fortune Steel getting a very narrow victory a one star victory over Cold September in our week six uh, in the Clash Cup League a huge huge shout out to everybody over uh, in Cold September uh, a clan that has been around a very very long time a clan that I still look up look up to uh, until till today um, you know, especially when I started off in the war community um, these guys have always been there so it was a really humbling experience not only to war them again but to get the victory and again what an amazing war this was let me go ahead and start off by showing you guys the war events uh, I wish I could have streamed the end of this but look at the last few attacks the last six attacks of this war you guys with 15 minutes left uh, they had a, an additional 10 v 10 they had a 99 percent on Dauphine we were down by one star we had Papa Dragon and Shy Guy hitting with five minutes and four minutes left in war both picking up uh, 11 v 11 three stars then we had a 10 v 10 right after that with two minutes left in war putting us up two stars and then uh, Hammer Time uh, ended up tripling Shy Guy with one minute left and that was all the attacks right there you guys the last six attacks um, uh, five out of the six successful one of them being a 99% and we won by uh, in total destruction by just over 1% uh, words cannot describe how incredible the ending to this war was and I'm so happy I'm so proud uh, that I was able to be a part of it and again huge shout out uh, to everybody over in cold September uh, this is the, wars like this is the reason why we still play this game uh, you know we've all we've all been involved in good wars but this is the, these are the types of wars that that have you coming back when they're so close like this uh, and again we did pick up uh, a few 11 v 11 triples we will be checking these out uh, and we did have both sides had five 10 v 10s and we had three yes we had three 11 v 11s but uh, we'll go ahead and start off it's this one we'll go ahead and start off with one talent mine attack um, we will try to kind of speed through this we have a lot of heavy hitter action to get through uh, I got quite a few 10 v 10s to show you guys and we will be showing uh, each of the 11 v 11 three stars as well. And here we got, lo and behold, guys, lo and behold, we have Willie, none other than Willie, using what? He must have, he, I think he watched the last video. I, I think Willie watched the last video uh, on the channel doing it with a shattered Goho. Guys, bringing three jumps, uh, three jumps, bringing one jump. Bringing one jump and three heal. And look at the value he's going to get from this one jump. Poison on the CC. He's going to get an Expo. He's going to get that Bomb Tower. He's going to get both heroes. He's obviously going to take out uh, the enemy clan castle. And, of course, he's going to break that defensive ring. Once Queen takes out that air defense, she's going to take the jump before it wears off. And you got King under ability right inside that Expo compartment. Uh, and we see that uh, he is saving his poison um, for any ground skellies. So while Queen's distracted uh, on those skellies, from the witch he's gonna go ahead and start off his hogs coast is clear and that bomb tower actually ended up staying up because queen got tied up but again you don't want to have a time fill so he went ahead and started and this was a fresh hit notice when he dropped his cc hogs uh they ran right into two troll teslas uh right behind uh right between two giant bombs uh but nice uh recovery there went ahead and sent a few more hogs in um at the other troll tesla Oh, Risky Hunter, what are we going to do with you? Okay, here we go. Last heal spell down, but look, only two more point defenses. All hogs are brought to full health. We do have a couple ground skellies chasing those hogs. It is going to be way too much for this base to handle. And a beautiful attack 
even uh, ended up swagging uh, Archer Queen of Build. Do we have another troll? We had another troll Tesla over here uh, at 9 o'clock. Uh, but again, this was a fresh hit. That's how it works sometimes. Beautiful attack uh, by Willie. Now we'll go ahead and get into uh, some of the 10v10 action for you guys. Uh, oh, one other thing. When you want to talk about adding to the intensity, when you want to talk about adding to the intensity of this war, uh, we'll go ahead and start this one. This was the final attack of the war, you guys. This attack, we needed this three-star. Luke ended up getting it done. Dude ended up getting a 10v10 six-pack. Uh, but, but yeah, talking about adding the intensity, as many of you may well know, the CCL, the Clash Cup League, is a no-dip league, okay? There's no dipping. We had, I believe it was three Town Hall 9 bases that still needed to be cleared, and we only had three attacks. So when you want to talk about being on the edge of your seat pretty much the, this entire war, um, just wow. But the nines ended up getting it done. We had zero scouts, not a single scout on a Town Hall 10. But at the end of the day, our nines still got it done. But yeah, in a no dip war, it is all about, uh, I mean, each Town Hall, it's all about each Town Hall trying to clear um, the other Town Hall. Uh, very rarely do you have the hit ups unless it's a scout, but we did not have any of this war. But look at this beautiful uh, mass hog attack. Skelly's on the queen. We definitely had trouble with this base, but we got Luke, the almighty Luke, uh, bringing five balloons on the back end. We kept getting stuck on the back end, uh, switching up the attack. Look at this. We, this base was 99. Uh, we did have a 99% on this base pretty early on into war. Kept trying to uh, replicate the attack and get that extra percent. Was not working. Luke ended up coming in again, guys, in the last minute of war, or the last two minutes of war, uh, with this ins with this just an insane plan. Uh, pretty much, I mean, almost freaking like Town Hall 8 style. It reminded me of uh, uh, Town Hall 8 when we used to do the holos, when you'd you know, send in the hogs to take out the air defenses and use loons on the back end. But look at that, guys. Luke getting it done, bringing uh, 45 hogs in total, uh, 38 of his own, seven coming out of the CC, and bringing those five loons on the back end. Uh, incredible attack, very, very well uh, executed. We're going to go ahead and check out this hit uh, from Chimo. And we had some beautiful attacks, guys, uh, that end up coming out this war. Uh, we're going to have Chimo, a.k.a. Quan. He's going to be doing a CB Lalo on this base right here. And I will say both sides, uh, definitely I would say we're struggling Town Hall 10. Each side had a couple 10v10s kind of early on, to, early on into the war. We did hit a couple sticky spots where we did go a while without an actual successful attack. But I will say that I do see, or a lot of us... Uh, did notice a shift in base building. The base building, uh, like we all said, uh, it, it just takes time for the defense kind of catch up to the offense. But look at this beautiful attack right here. Uh, Chimo is going to go ahead and take out this base. Look, bowlers all raged up inside that core. We did have a big dragon coming out of the CC, which which is becoming more common. Uh, we are seeing uh, the big drag, baby drag. Uh, balloon combination. This one had some goblins in it. Not sure what was going on there. Uh, but you see Kill Squad ends up getting two air defenses uh, with, with that CB entry and uh, those bowlers under rage. But we're going to start the Lalo over here uh, pretty much at 3 and uh, up here at 12 o'clock hasting in uh, these three separate groups of loons. Uh, we still have one more haste one more heal spell to deploy. Uh, the loom starting to clump up. Heal spell right over that expo and that archer tower. Look at all these pups. Look at all these pups uh, gaining up on this king. And they end up even helping out uh, take take out that single shot inferno tower. And we have these loons are going to be ending down here, or excuse me, over here at nine o'clock. Uh, they're going to be clumping up on this air defense, but he just has way too many. Even eating those two seeking air mines still had way too much up. Uh, but yeah, I mean, definitely attack you don't see every day at Town Hall 10. Uh, just a straight up CB Lalo bringing, uh, or I guess it would be a CB 
Gobololo. Yeah, CB Gobololo. Uh, ending on the hut over at 3 o'clock. Beautiful attack uh, by Chimo. Getting it done. Huge shout out to him. And now we're going to check out my hit. I know I've, I've skipped over a couple of my 10v10s. But this base, I'm sorry, this base right here in this attack, I absolutely love. Uh, bringing the Giants, bringing 12 Giants as opposed to to the two golems as we do see the two inferno towers both being on single shot uh but yeah we're gonna be doing a queen walk right here over at three o'clock uh just gonna get incredible value from this queen walk and uh i mean just straight you guys can see this base this attack when it went down i don't think it could have gone any better it was just one of those attacks where everything just kind of worked out for you so we see giants down entering in on two teslas getting rid of those nice and early and look at this funnel all the bowlers uh i mean gi giants doing all the tanking bowlers staying uh behind under rage uh we have a jump leading into the core a jump lead on the entry jump leading into the core everything under rage nice heal spell um over those bomb towers and we'll see look at the rock skips that these bowlers get seeing as this is a very compact base the value from these rock skips these rock skips are going to go ahead and take out that cannon uh, all the way on the other side of the base off of the air defense i mean look at that the base just ends up getting completely leveled and you can tell very early on uh there's literally only one more point defense uh, we still have uh, the queen ability. Look at her walk. Uh, she ended up clearing that entire side. But yeah, it was just one of those attacks where uh, everything just kind of went right, uh, which doesn't always happen with my attacks. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I was really, really proud of this one. Uh, it was this was this was a fun attack. Huge shout out to uh, Bullet Mountain. Uh, but that was my 10 v 10 three star of this war. Uh, so yeah, huge shout out to me and we're going to check out, yeah, we'll go ahead and check out this one real quick. And then I have one more 10 V 10 before we get into, uh, the town hall 11 action. Uh, but D's nuts doing it, AKA fuzz doing it with miners, uh, getting a nice, uh, bowler bounce right here on that mortar. Again, I mean, in any base, again, where you can get the, uh, where you can take out a mortar doing a bowler bounce definitely worth the value uh, we have queen over here uh at about 11 o'clock just archers trimming all this trash to make sure queen kind of hugs the wall a little tighter we're gonna have miners coming in um it does get a little close i mean not that it gets close towards the end but you'll kind of see how the how how it ends it's wrecked but at the same time it kind of got close you'll know what i'm talking about uh in a second here but we're gonna see the miners coming down hound loon coming out of the cc that's one thing uh bases that are where you have the flat edges like this one a straight up square base with the two single shot inferno towers on either side with a hound loon definitely look to miners guys uh especially fuzz he has been doing very very well uh, with this kind of queen walk uh, mass minor attack on these style or on this style of bases we tried to bitch it a couple times but could not get it uh, fuzz ended up going with the miners uh, even with the six camp space as opposed to the five uh, like it was pre-update uh, I mean they're still getting the job done uh, we'll, just go, we'll just go ahead and times this but yeah you'll see kind of towards the end how they kind of path around but the last defense that's going to go down as you guys see right here is going to be the inferno tower uh the hound ends up popping but they're all all distracted on uh the archer queen but yeah fuzz getting it done base got wiped out pretty quick again kind of petered out towards the end there but if you look closely again with these minor attacks you'll see he had plenty plenty up that was luke's other attack we're gonna go ahead and check out one more uh, 10v10. Shout out to Luke again, getting a 10v10 six back. Uh, the, the first attack we saw was actually the last hit on our side of the war. We're gonna see this Queen Charge Lalo uh, from Foreman. And this was one of their top Town Hall 9s. Uh, but you're gonna see this, ba I mean, we talk about base identification, execution. He, he literally crushes this base. Uh, starting the Queen Walk over here at three o'clock. She's going to be walking down as he will be breaking into this into this compartment uh, where this cannon is right here. 
uh, King down. Uh, he's going to be dropping down uh, a couple wizards just to help him out. Uh, wall breakers down. Uh, and you'll see Queen, uh, the path that the king is going to create. There goes the wizards. Uh, you'll, you'll see there's there's no... The, what am I trying to say here? Queen, there's nowhere for the queen to go but inside of this base. Uh, so you have the king over here, rounded the bend, cleared just enough trash, even got through uh, that elixir storage. Uh, she's getting tied up on the hound right here. We'll just go ahead and times this real quick. Uh, we still have our Town Hall 11 attacks uh, to show you guys. Uh, but yeah, she's going to be charging into this base. And you'll see right here, uh, tries to get the double layer wall break and just fall, just falls short. Again, that second layer uh, popped right there. But uh, with this Inferno Tower being on single or being on multi-target as opposed to single target, uh, opens this base up to something like a queen charge. You'll see the queen on queen action went ahead and popped the ability. And you'll see Hound starting over here at three o'clock. Um, and you'll see he's going to be hasting everything in. Going to go ahead and drop a, more, uh, a few more balloons down on that cannon. Trying to keep all these balloons inside of the base. There they go. Cannon is down. Followed up by another haste. And uh, over here uh, on the far left-hand side, other than the two air defenses, you just have that archer tower right there. But you'll see he has a haste spell that's going to that's gonna fly all those loons into that last uh, archer tower. It is now down. And... Uh, <clears throat> Foreman did start clean up nice and early uh, with the minions. Also has some pups helping out. Uh, but beautiful, beautiful attack. Queen Charge Lalo getting it done on the multi-target uh, Inferno Tower base. So that was our 10v10s. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and get into our Town Hall 11 action uh, before we go ahead and wrap it up. So we're going to have Papa Dragon. Papa Dragon uh wait until you guys see our lmv 11s uh usually we've been seeing like the same similar you know the same style attacks either the bitch attack or just a straight up lalo we got three different uh 11 v 11 or, or we have three different 11 v 11s that came with three different attack strategies wait till you guys see it uh we have papa drag went ahead and hasted in loons over here at nine o'clock not only did he get the air defense but he also got the cc lure now he's gonna go ahead and drop down his heroes in hopes of taking out that air defense up there at 12 o'clock poison is down to make sure he gets rid of that pesky witch and you'll see there's even a tesla uh by that air defense uh before he starts his lalo he does have 31 balloons that he's bringing and a few lava hounds and he's only and look at that with uh the loons that he brought in uh it was kind of like a two for one not only to get the air defense but he gets the cc pull and then uh he gets the cc kill and he gets an air defense over uh on the other side so just incredible value so you'll see right here uh hound is down uh on at three o'clock and down at six where, where he's going to be bringing in all of his spells uh for this lalo portion he has four haste down already still has two rage um and a heal left and he does have one skeleton spell that he's planning on saving uh for the enemy queen you'll see that uh he did go ahead and get uh that air sweeper all these balloons are going to be under rage as they collapse on the second and final inferno tower and you'll see he has another group of loons uh, that he sent in uh, right behind the town hall where there was that Tesla. And you'll see right there all defenses down, you guys. Uh, that was pretty much it. Um, nothing but cleanup. Just has the pups and the minions. End up crushing that base. And talk about getting value from a uh, CC lure and a CC kill picking up those two ADs exposing that base doing a beautiful and it wasn't even a spam law like we see on a lot of town hall 11s where you know a couple fingers drop down all the loons this was just a straight up um surgical deployment of these balloons beautiful beautiful attack so now we have shy guy uh he's gonna be doing a queen charge lalo uh this was the 11 v 11 that came in just uh, again just the last couple minutes of war just to really heighten uh or again the ending of this war was literally insane 
so we, we had about 20 people watching this attack live as it was going down. Queen, but anyway, Queen starting over here at 12 o'clock. Uh, we're going to have the healers and the Queen under rage. Uh, we will be breaking in uh, to this big compartment right here where he's going to get uh, the enemy Queen. He's going to get the wizard tower, the archer tower, the air defense, the inferno tower. He's going to get incredible value uh, from this open apartment and there we see again uh, where we have the witch and the dragon coming out of the clan castle and you'll see uh, she is going to go ahead and take out that expo before she passed down there she goes she's going to get the air defense and poison down for uh, the enemy CC and he's also going to be doing a lalo on uh, this base as well but yeah getting an amazing value uh, from this queen charge and, and, I, and, I, and I like it, this attack not being super spammy again like we see on a lot of Town Hall 11 attacks. Uh, especially on these anti-3 layouts, uh, it's much different than hitting something like an anti-2. Uh, but here we go, loons down, uh, we have the haste, they're going to be coming into this air defense up here at the top, uh, right next to the Grand Warden, uh, and he does still have... Uh, two more hay spells to deploy after he dropped that rage to lead all these balloons under the Grand Warden ability into that Inferno Tower. They're going to collapse on that air defense. And he still has one more haste to uh, deploy. Uh, that Wizard Tower just almost got that group of loons. Uh, he did see it in the corner of his eye, though. Went ahead and dropped a few more loons uh, over here on the left-hand side. Ended up getting it done. All these balloons going to be ending on a mortar. Shy guy. Shy guy, shy guy, shy guy, what are we going to do with you? Getting the 11 v 11 six pack this war, you guys. Uh, so we'll go ahead and run through that attack real quick. Wait till you guys see this one uh, before we go ahead uh, and wrap this one up. And you'll see right here, this attack right here. This attack blew my mind seeing this one. This is our first 11 v 11 of the war. And again, to add uh, to the hype of this war and how intense it was, uh, we were behind pretty much by one this entire war and they had an LMV-11 very early on into war. Just the first few hours, uh, these guys got an LMV-11. We got Shy Guy doing it with HGHB, you guys. Uh, coming in here at five o'clock, uh, dropping down his giants. He's got the healers. Uh, he's got the king and the queen. Uh, uh, and you'll see right there, heading into uh, this bottom compartment down here at six uh, that inferno tower was on single target i take it back he has not dropped his queen yet there he goes queen is going to be on the uh outside of this base uh, and he got amazing value from that grand warden ability as well uh, as we do see there is a hound cc um he purposely did not want to send his queen into this base. Uh, just wants that hound to kind of float around. Uh, but we'll see these hogs. Uh, he bringing 16 of them to this attack uh, with a few heal spells. And look at that kill squad in the core. Eagle Artillery is now down. Uh, he did go ahead and use uh, queen ability. But you'll see that these defenses are all distracted on his kill squad and or his hogs. Uh, and he had a nice split in here. Uh, you'll see up here at the top. There's only a couple archer towers um, But again that level 48 Queen st Even though it's not level 50 that level 48 Queen still doing work uh, And you'll see right here He does still have this archer tower up right here, but again purposely sending that Queen uh, around the outside ends up uh, You'll see it does end up kind of close but you'll see he does still have his king up and as you guys know these heroes are so beefy we'll go ahead and slow it down real quick so you guys can see the very very ending. this was so intense uh in just the last few seconds but you'll see right there queen is going to take out those last couple pups and end on that archer tower beautiful attack hghb 11 v 11 style huge shout out uh to shy guy uh, getting the 11 v 11 six pack every single attack counted uh, this war every town hall level uh, huge shout to everybody in Fortune and steel getting it done uh, getting our first victory in uh, the clash cup league uh, a one star victory over cold September and again mad love mad support for everybody in cold September uh, huge shout to them um, and Again, 
if you guys like the video, uh, make sure you like it. I, I, I still, I cannot, I, words do not describe how intense uh, this this war was. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed it though. If you guys like the video, uh, make sure you like it. Um, any comments, questions, or concerns down in the comment section below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.